All right, just to start off with the basic concept of Viz portals, I'll show you. I've built just a couple of rooms here with a one little hallway in between, a couple of lights starting position down here or over here. I can turn off the ceilings and you can see inside. We're starting right down there. So here we are in the room. And in order to illustrate what the renderer is doing without any viz portals right now, I'll just turn on the tries. And you can see uh, this room has a few tries. And then you can see the hallway and the other room with a couple of torches over there. And even though there's a wall right in front of us right here, you can see that that other room over there is being rendered. So when there's just two rooms, it doesn't really matter. But if you had a whole level rendering all at once, that'd be pretty bad for performance. So we'll go run down here and take a look. All right, it's pretty smooth. But at all times, everything is being rendered, even behind the character's back here. And nothing is uh, being hidden. Um, well, that's not exactly true. There is some culling that does happen, but uh, there is a lot being rendered, and so it's taxing the system, and you want to put some viz portals in. The way that I'll do that is to just select a brush that's already the same size as the door. Oh, I have to unselect the start position. Okay, just that brush, and copy that and drag it down right in that doorway. Now it's just a brick wall. All I did was brick up the opening of that doorway there. And I still have the ceiling off. I'll turn that back on. But what you can do is you can go back up to brush in the menus and click make viz portal. And you can see the texture in this size says viz portal and on the other side it's no draw and it's the same on the uh, the edges too even though that's next to the wall so it's really only this surface right here that matters or if you look in this view it's just this front edge that matters uh, the other sides you can pretend they don't exist you could make this brush bigger or smaller and it just doesn't even matter what does matter is that it perfectly fits the size of the door. Okay, so we'll put one viz portal there. We'll save it. Go back over here. Re-render that map. And things are a little different. That portal is green, which means it's open. Now, if I turn completely away from it, it's not on the screen anymore. If you could see it, it would be red but when I see into it at all it's green because the portals there it's not showing us the tries behind it but there is still some rendering that's going on uh, like if we sneak it over to here where you can't see that other doorway you can still see that that room back there is being rendered the tries are still showing up let's do it on this side you can see it a little easier over here. This whole part of the room back over there is still being rendered. Uh, it's not showing this side because the portal's hiding that, but the whole room is still being rendered because there's only one portal. You need at least two viz portals to make any effect. Okay, let's add another viz portal. Easy enough. Just copy that one and bring it over here. Now, if you'll notice, I'm having it stick out into the room because this is the side that has the viz portal. I'm putting that right on the doorway. Let's go take a look. Here it is from the hall, and here it is from the room. It looks a little odd sticking out, but all that matters is that one surface. It doesn't matter if I turn the brush around the other way. Uh, either way is fine, just so long as the viz portal plane is right in the spot where you want it touching brushes. It can't just touch patches or models. It has to actually be world spawn, which is brushes, in order to seal it. All right. Now you can see the other viz portal that I added is now red. 
because it's being turned off. It was turning red if we couldn't see through both of them. So your, your view has to go through the viz portal in this room and the other one for it to open. When it's here and it's red, what the game does is it puts like a black wall there and it totally seals off that other room and it doesn't render it so uh, you'll get better performance. At any point in this whole walking around it's rendering just this room and the hallway until the other portal gets inside the one you can see through. Then it's open and then it's closed when it's on the other side. So that's a very, very, very simple use of a viz portal just to block off this hallway. Now when you can see through both of them, you're in this room, you can see all the way down the hall and this room. Now it's rendering all the rooms again. So it might be a better idea to actually build a turn in the hallway and put the room over here and then you could put a viz portal, uh, you could put three of them. One at the entrance of the hall, one in the middle and one on the other part of the hall after the turn and then it would be impossible to see through all three at the same time therefore the game would never have to render both rooms at the same time by the way the commands that I've used in the console in order for us to see these tries and to see the viz portals are R show portals and R show tries uh, so there's the R show tries and then I had it on three. If you had it on zero, then you wouldn't see any. And then there's a couple other settings. Some people use two, which is all the front facing tries. And uh, three will be all the tries. Now the portals cut most of them off, but um, two or three, it will basically serve a similar purpose here. The more important one is the portals. Our show portals one. If you put on zero, then they're just gone they're still working but you can't see them put it on one and then you can check out your portals and see how they're working if that other one was green right now I'd know there was a problem something wasn't right but it's currently working correctly here's a map I've been working on just for fun it's actually a recreation of the sword from the original thief and I just want to illustrate this hallway and the portals that I've made, the viz portaling I've done here, uh, just as an example. You can see it's a long hallway, so if I just had one portal for each door all along the hallway, then you'd be able to see in all the rooms. Basically, all the rooms would be rendered because just from being in the middle of the hallway, the angle I'm at would get through each portal of each doorway but you can see there's a red portal behind each green one what I've done is I've double viz portaled each little doorway each little entryway so it's only when you get close do they overlap so you can see this one here this big one not the red one back there this one and this one are a pair and only when I, when I get up closer to it does that second one open up now it's being rendered this stairwell but when I was right here it's still red. That's totally closed off. The only thing rendered is this little tiny section of the doorway. Um, it's the same for this this door right here. That's the other part of the doorway. This little tiny section of doorway is the only thing being rendered until I get to this point and then you can see further into that room. So as you look down the hall I still get pretty good performance because the only thing rendered is the long hallway itself and a little tiny section of each doorway until I get closer to it. There's that room. That room opens up. Even when I come down to the corner and see that hall and this hall, I still have a pretty smooth frame rate even though there's a long view in two directions. A lot of times you'll want to just take a look at where the player might go and where you can double up on viz portals when there's an angle that would make it so that they won't overlap like this if if this is a sharp angle and only sometimes will I be in front of it but most of the time I'll be so far to the side that the two won't overlap that could be a good use for a viz portal effectively blocking off everything behind that red one so look for those places 
here's a little window. I didn't want to render everything down there until you're here to to take a peek over there. Now the outsides are much more tricky. You can do vertical portals as well. See there's one on the floor. There's a whole hallway underneath here, but since we can't see it, I didn't want it to all be rendered just because I can see through that top portal. So I have it double vertically. When we get up to the point where it opens up, you can start to see portals in the hallway below. So we'll just pop down there, and here we are. Now interestingly, you can actually make portals that are not just rectangles or squares. I've heard that that can lead to errors, but uh, this is an example of a pair of portals I did that are octagons, and they actually work pretty well, especially from the upper level. Because from up here, uh, the angle gets tight enough that you don't always see through both of them. For example, from over here, it's not rendering that whole room down there. Only this little section between the very top and that lower portal until they overlap. Then it opens up the room below and you can see there's some more portals blocking any further view. So double portaling is a very handy trick. Use it wisely. You don't want to overkill your portals, but it can definitely improve performance if done right. One last thing I wanted to illustrate. This is an interesting spot here because if you look straight ahead you can see there's two portals I can see through. If I walk over here there's two portals over here. Now back there uh, these this hallway just comes open over there. So you could just go around and around and around. Now what I want to show you is uh, right here this green portal in the middle appears to be one that should be red but it's green because you can get to it almost from both sides so let me just show you what I mean when I turn over here this is how it usually would be where I can see through this one but not that one because it's in that hallway so it's red now when I'm over here I can see through these but not around the corner so it's red because it's off of that room over there but when I can see in the hallway here and over here it's like I'm coming at it from two directions so that they, they open it up because it's pointless to keep it shut anymore I can see into the room this way and I can see into this hall this way so it wouldn't block off anything anymore they, so they leave it open there's nothing being hidden from being rendered if I turn over here that room over there is now not being rendered because I can't see in this hall and I can't see down that way. If I turn over here, this little bit of hallway that was over here is not being rendered, but that other room over there is. And if I have it in between, then they both are. They're both being rendered, so they open that portal that was in the middle. Just be aware of that when you're testing your portals. Don't think it's all broken because it's open over there. That is how it's supposed to work in this unique circumstance. And that is a lot of portals. They're all green because I'm outside the world boundaries, but... Oh, I popped in. Anyway, you want to put them everywhere. Everywhere that makes sense. It's time consuming, but it's the only way to make a map playable.